welcome students welcome to physics learning point today we will start new chapter that is human eye and colorful world we have studied the structure of human eye in bioscience and why we are studying the human eye in physics part why because the in bioscience we study only the structure of human eye it's a important sense organ and we are studying that uh, structure in bioscience but whenever you come to the formation of image by the eye lens by the eye it is related to the physics part in this class how how the image of a object is formed by our eye in previous class we have studied that the images formed we also drawn the ray diagrams formed by the for the images formed by the convex lenses so here also the human eye the main part of the our human eye is the eye lens eye lens is a convex lens so then that is why we are studying the formation of the image by the eye lens so the eye is very important organ in the human beings because we are able to see this colorful world with the help of the eye let us discuss how the images are formed by eye lens and how the defects the defects some people gets defects of this eye lens why they get defects and we are discussing the defects of eye lens in this chapter and mainly in this video i am going to discuss two important facts related to our human eye one is the least distance of distinct vision least distance of distinct vision and the second one is angle of vision then what is the least distance of distinct vision just simply take a newspaper or a test book just keep in front of your eyes so i am keeping like this then i am able to see the letters clearly just move the newspaper or textbook which you hold towards your eye up to certain distance we can see the letters of the book or paper clearly but if you move much close to your eye can you see clearly no you don't see the letters will be blurred and you feel some strain in your eye then why we are facing that problem because our human eye can see the objects up to a particular distance minimum distance close then that we can't see clearly so the distance the minimum distance up to the minimum distance from our eye to observe an object clearly to see a object clearly that distance is said to be least distant distance of distinct vision okay so in a general human beings human beings the least distance of distinct vision is 25 cm the minimum distance to observe a object clearly that should be 25 cm less than this 25 cm can we see clearly no 
so this is the least distance of distinct division 25 centimeters come to the kids children the least distance of distinct division may be 7 to 8 centimeters because their muscles are flexible as the age increases the flexibility of the muscles decreases so average human beings has the least distance of distinct vision is 25 centimeters okay then come to angle of vision What is angle of vision? The mag maximum angle which we need to see the ob whole object, complete object is said to be angle of vision. The angle of maximum angle of vision is 60 degrees. If the light rays making the angle 60 degrees at our eye which is coming from top and bottom of the object then we can see the whole object for example here is a object and from here we are observing then if you want to see the whole object the top light ray and the light ray which is coming from the bottom of the object both are reaching our eye and the angle between these two light rays which is coming from top and which is coming from top if it is 60 or less than 60 that angle is 60 or less than 60 then we can see this object completely all object comfortably so if the object is longer than given for example if you want to see the object much lengthy so if you want to see this object at a time complete object at a time is it possible no it is not possible because the top light ray and the light ray which is coming from the bottom making the angle at our eye greater than 60 so the maximum angle required to observe a object all or completely that that is said to be angle of vision and that is 60 degrees if this angle increases it is not possible to see beyond that so this is about angle of vision so next class we will discuss the structure of human eye. Thank you.